Um, I'm, they're mixed emotions. Uh, we are certainly glad that this brings, a, you know, some type of closure. Uh, we do believe that justice uh, has been served with uh, the acceptance of the plea agreement, but also we understand that there's no amount of time or any of those that, you know, will help us to get over that, you know, the loss of Aaron. But we are glad that justice has been served. And then I think the acceptance of a plea is some type of acknowledgement of wrongdoing, which helps us a little. A little. I talked to your mom a little bit. She was saying um, that, is there anything you want to say about her feeling that she, the 15 to life is a little scary at this time, not knowing? Yes. Um, yes. We, we struggled with that uh, because... Of, of course, he's a young man. And so to, to us, that says that he still has an opportunity to have some semblance of a life, an opportunity that my brother will never get. And so um, it's our understanding, you know, our hope was that he would spend the rest of his life uh, incarcerated. That was our hope. Um, we, we feel as though that that's fair. Uh, you took a life, and I think that a sentence such as that would say, hey, you know, I, the rest of my life, I will reflect on my actions. And so, yeah, there's, there's, there's a little ambivalence uh, with that. Do you know why it didn't go to trial? Well, we don't know all of the details, but, you know, I, I will say this. We, we're, we're happy with the work that the police did, as well as the um, district attorney. They stayed in contact with us uh, throughout the entirety of the process, any new findings, all of those things. And so I do understand that just a, the criminal justice system, I'll just say that. And this is my personal, this is nothing my family says. It's just some personal uh, things about the criminal justice system working that you know, perhaps it needs some tweaking. <laughs> is there anything you'd want to comment further about that? Well, no, uh, I, I said in the beginning, um, the very fact that this young man was out and able to do uh, what he did to my brother is a comment on the criminal justice system as a whole. Um, I feel as though with his past criminal background, all of the things that happened before that, uh, likely he should have been uh, in jail or received something, some type of intervention before that. That, to me, that would have been the logical thing. Uh, this young man has a story in which he um, not only uh, robbery and all of that, but attempted murder with guns, all of those things. And so he, he uh, if the criminal justice system was in fact working, um, he should have been in jail in that time. And perhaps um, we would be celebrating my brother's graduation or other milestones at this this time. Can you talk about the grief your family has dealt with? You know, I know oh. there's no time that's long enough to deal with grief. <laughs> right. Well, you know, um, we are believers. And so uh, one of the things we rest in is that we believe that uh, our God uh, is able to sustain us through all of these things. Uh, but uh, we, in, in fact, we are a close-knit family. And so, uh, and I was significantly older than my siblings. So for me, it was as if I lost a child because um, I helped to rear my brothers. And so uh, it has been a, an, a special grief process for me, but more so for my mom and Aaron's dad. They, they lost a child. Uh, and as all accounts, um, Aaron was as perfect as anyone can get it. I know that people, when they reflect on people who passed on, that's kind of something they attributed to all of them. But when I tell you that as perfect as a person could be, that young man was that. And so um, our grief is especially difficult because uh, there's a void with his loss. We, we miss him dearly because we, we believed him to be a special light and um, that light no longer shines. And so um, our, our grief uh, is still very real and very present, uh, but uh, our belief in God, will we, we do believe that we'll see him one day.